Hello and welcome back everyone to Persona 4 Golden. Let's go ahead and head on up to our room. And get started on our next day. Ooh. Oh, you're up. Well, I'm off. Oh, well, well, have a good day. Oh, well, let's see what happened now. Dad has to go do something. He got a call, so he left. He didn't seem particularly disturbed by it. Ah, my new gossip twins. When I looked, I saw three police cars zooming by. You live by the police station, don't you? Did you hear anything? I heard some yelling, but nothing more. A total disappointment. Jeez, you need to pay more attention to stuff like that. How else are we supposed to get the juicy stories? Uh oh. Well, sounds like they're still going. Did you see it yesterday? See what? Of course not. What is that rumor for real? I want to know. I don't know, but it seems like a lot of people have seen it. Seen what? Yukiko said she'd be here after lunch. I wonder why they're holding a school assembly all of a sudden. Hey, what's wrong, Yosuke? Hmm? Oh, it's nothing. Is it though? Everyone, please settle down. The school assembly is about to begin. So is that Japanese Dumbledore? First, the principal has something to say. You could take the hat. I regret to say that I have a terrible announcement for all of you. You, you can take the headdress and the dousing rod and put those away. This seems a bit inappropriate. One of our third-year students, Ms. Saki Konishi of Class 3, has passed away. Passed away? Yeah, you should really take the headdress off now. <sighs> you knew, didn't you? Ms. Konishi was found deceased early this morning. The reasons behind her passing are currently under investigation by the police. If they ask you for your cooperation, I urge you as students of this school to provide only the facts. All right, please quiet down. I have been assured by the faculty that there's been no evidence that bullying was involved in the incident. Well, if that was her hanging from the, you know, power pole, I, I would hope that bullying would not cause that. So mind what you say, not only to the police, but to anyone who asks. Found dead? How could this happen? She died the same way as that announcer, right? It's so creepy. Well, last time it was from an antenna, but this time she was hanging from a telephone pole. It's gotta be a serial murder case. It's really weird for a serial murder, but all right. Someone said the cause of death was some unknown poison. How? Unknown? Come on, this isn't some sci-fi drama. The, the poison, you know, Caused her to die and climb up to the top of a telephone pole and dangle, yes. Oh, by the way, did you hear? Someone saw a girl that looked like Saki on that Midnight Channel thingy. They said she totally looked like she was in pain. Isn't that scary? <laughs> Sounds like someone had a nightmare. The media's been broadcasting their interviews with her nonstop. 
So maybe they just had sake on the brain. Ugh. Sheesh. It's easy to toss around theories if you're not personally involved. Yes, it is. Hey, did you guys check out the TV last night? Yosuke, not you too. Just listen for a sec. Something kept bothering me, so I watched it again, and I think the girl on the screen was Saki-senpai. There's no mistaking it. Senpai looked like she was writhing in pain. And then, she disappeared from the screen. What? You heard Senpai's body was found in a similar situation as that announcer's, right? Oh, well, remember that guy you told us about? How he was all excited that his soulmate was the announcer? Maybe, just maybe, but... Ms. Yamano might have been on that midnight channel before she died, too. What's that supposed to mean? I just noticed the music actually ebbs and flows with the dialogue. That's a nice change. To make sure that the voices never overpower, or the song never overpowers the dialogue. Hold on. Are you saying... People who appear on that TV... Die? I can't say for sure, but something tells me. I just can't dismiss it as coincidence. <gasps> Plus, remember what that bear thing said? How that place was dangerous and we should leave before the fog clears? It also said that someone's been throwing people in there. In that room with the posters on the wall, it has to have something to do with the announcer's death. Don't you think there's some kind of connection there? Couldn't that world in the TV have something to do with Senpai and the announcer's death? It seems plausible enough, I guess. Well, what do you think? You might be right. You can answer whatever you want, by the way. So it's not just me, huh? If there is a connection, then it's a good bet that the two of them went inside that world. That would explain the posters in that room. Which means, if we look around, we might find a place that has something to do with Senpai, too. Yosuke, don't tell me. Yeah. I'm thinking about going in again. I want to find out for myself. D don't do this! You should just let the police handle this and... Obviously the police can't do anything about this. You think we can rely on the police? They haven't made any progress on the announcer's case. Besides, even if we told them about the world inside the TV, there's no way they're going to believe us. Oh, they'd be believe we need the love me jackets and the nice padded room. If I'm completely off base with this, that's fine. Padded room full of rats. It's just, I need to know why Senpai had to die like this. Do you know the rats make me crazy? Yosuke. After what I've seen and what I've put together, there's no way I can ignore it now. Sorry, but you're the only person who can help me. I'm gonna go get ready. I'll be waiting for you at Juness. Mean, all right. I can kind of understand how he feels, but we can't be sure we'll be able to get out safely again. Good point. What should we do? I mean, we're not going to be able to stop him, so we just as well support him. You serious? You can answer whatever you want there, by the way. Anyways, let's go to Juness. We can't leave Yosuke alone. Oh, that's odd. Okay. Don't remember there being a safe point there, but I'll take it. Uh, you guys came. That golf club's awfully big. Why is it? Why is the driver the size of your head? And some rope. You're just standing here in the TV department looking like that. 
We okay. came to stop you, idiot. You don't look odd at all. Come on, you really shouldn't do this. It's too dangerous. I know, but we were able to come back once, right? If we go in from the same location, maybe we'll meet that bear again. Maybe isn't good enough. Look, I can't just act like everyone else and pretend this has nothing to do with me. That's true, but... What about you? Could you just walk away? And here you pick option C and say that you're worried about Chie. That's a free understanding boost. Yeah, it'll be just you and me. Don't worry, I'm not going in without a plan. Chie, I'm leaving you in charge of this. Huh? What's that? A rope? His lifeline. We'll go in with this tied to me. So I want you to hold on to this and wait here. Wh what? Then this is a lifeline? Come on, wait a sec. Here, this is for you. You want me to go golfing? You even bought some medicine? I thought it might be better than going in empty handed. That's smart. All right, let's go. There's no use wasting any more time. Chie, whatever you do, don't let go of the rope. Hey! I said wait! I swore like he was holding a kunai or something when he climbed in. Maybe that was just me. I did just get off work not long ago, so... Comical See? stuff. I knew this wasn't gonna work. Comical sound effects as our lifeline gets severed. Now what? Uh, is this? Look, this is the same place as last time, so they are connected from place to place. That's good. You guys. Why'd you come back? Anybody else notice the, uh... Bodies drawn on the floor this time? I get it. You're the ones behind this. Then why would we dive in? You're that thing from last time. Wait, what the hell did you just say? Lately, I can tell someone's been throwing people in here. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. It's making this world more and more messed up. This is the second time you guys came here, and I don't think anyone forced you in. That means you're the most suspicious. You guys must be the ones throwing the people in here. I'll beat you with this golf club. You can answer whatever you want here. I personally am not a big fan of Teddy, so... What are you talking about throwing people in? If someone was thrown in here and they couldn't get out, they might die. Who would do such a... Wait a sec. All this talk about someone throwing people in here, does he mean Senpai and the announcer? Did that someone throw those two in here? Hey, what do you think? Uh, sounds about right. Uh... Yeah, I agree. Nobody else touching the TV seems to have this effect besides me so far, so... Let's assume he's telling the truth. Could it be that someone's throwing people in here intending to kill them? If that's the case... What are you guys mumbling about? Why'd you come here anyways? It's a one-way door! You can't get out once you're in! Remember how I had to let you guys out? Well, then it's not necessarily a one-way door then, is it? Yeah, whatever. We don't need your help this time. See? This time we have a life... What? Yeah, you just now realized it. Hey! You better let us out once we're done investigating here! <laughs> I'm 
the one who wants to investigate. I've lived here for a long time, but it's never been noisy like this till now. Do you have proof? Prove to me you're not throwing people in here. Yeah, it's whatever you want again. See? So it is you guys. For the last time, it's not us. So we've got nothing to prove to you. Hey, you better answer our questions. This isn't like last time when we came by accident. We're dead serious. Listen up, because people have died in our world. And every time the fog appears, a dead body shows up with it. It has to be related to this place somehow. If you know something, tell us. A dead body? Whenever the fog appears? I know that if it's foggy on your side, the fog lifts here. It's really dangerous when the fog lifts. That's when the shadows get violent. Ah, I get it. Huh? If you get it, then explain it to us, damn it. If it's foggy on our side, it isn't in here. Shadows get violent? That's why I said to hurry back. It's dangerous when that happens. Okay, no more questions. I know you guys did it. You better stop right now. Even if it was us, what would you do to stop me? I told you and told you we're not the ones doing it. I've about had it with you. Why the hell won't you listen to what we're saying? I'm just saying you might be the culprits. Yeah, you've gone from it definitely is us to it might be. Uh, I'm just making sure. What? Man, this bear's driving me nuts. What is this place anyways? It looks like a TV studio. Is something being filmed here? Hey, don't tell me. Is that weird show being filmed here? It's a snuff film from the looks of it. Weird show? Filmed? What does that mean? Uh, I'm asking if someone's been filming the people that get thrown in here. Eh? I don't get it. This world has always been like this. No one has ever done that filming thing here. I heard your mother has. Only me and Shadows are here. I told you before. That was another one. You can answer whatever you want. Look, we don't know what these shadow things are. Or what you are either, for that matter. You keep telling us to prove our innocence, but you're the most suspicious thing here. Maybe you're the real culprit. Huh. And what's with that stupid costume? I'd say it's time you showed your face! Hey, you're gonna break this. You broke Whoa. the. You broke the zipper. And. What the hell are you? You. You beheaded him. It, it's empty inside. You couldn't tell his head was hollow before now? Me? The culprit? I wouldn't do such a thing. I just live here. I just want to live here peacefully. <sighs> okay, I'll believe that you guys aren't the culprits. But I want you to find the real guy who did all this. You have to stop him. Promise me, or else... Or else what? I'm not gonna let you guys out of here. Oh, that's that's pretty fair. You little. This can't keep going on. My home here will be a complete mess. And then, and then, I. <laughs> yeah. What are you crying for all of a sudden? Jeez, this thing's really weirding me out. Yeah, fun times ahoy. <sighs> hey, what should we do? It seems you will encounter a misfortune at your destination, and a great mystery will be imposed upon you. 
Eh, here we go. Yeah, I could have just said nah and went home, but I came along for the ride. You're the only ones I can ask. Will you promise me? Eh, don't have any other choice, so... Thank you! Damn bear. Practically holding a gun to our heads. But it's true that we came here to figure things out. So far, we're completely in the dark. Look for the culprit, huh? Bring it on. You got my word, too. Might as well introduce ourselves. I'm Yosuke Hanamura, and this is my buddy. You never say my name. You got a name? Teddy! Why am I not surprised? <laughs> Figures. But how are we supposed to find the culprit in the first place? I don't know. Some help. Oh, but I know where the last person came in. The last person? You mean Saki-senpai? I mean the person who came in and disappeared last time. I don't know the name. Well, I'll take you there. You might find clues. Why didn't you help them then? Oh, one thing first. You two should put these on. Hmm? Reading glasses? What are these glasses for? Hmm. It no longer looks like I'm in a world of pee. Whoa! Although those background effects are kind of weird, I can't tell if that's intentional or not. The difference is like night and day. With these on, it's like the fog doesn't exist. They'll help you walk through the fog. Well, I've been here for a long time, so you can rely on me. Uh, but I can only show you where the place is. You guys will have to defend yourselves. Of course. What happened to relying on you? Th there better not be any monsters, you understand? We brought weapons, but, I mean, they're more for show. We just got here. If it's so dangerous, why don't you do something instead of relying on us? Uh-uh. No way. I've got no muscles. Really? Oh, oh, I'll give you guys moral support from a safe distance. Thanks. How's that sound? I'll be nice and just do a touch. No! Is this thing for real? Uh, this is so lame. He's like a turtle. We swore to find the culprit and this is all the backup we get? Oh yeah, can I ask you something? Who's this Saki senpai person? Someone you know? <laughs> That doesn't matter right now. Anyways, at least now we know Senpai might have been thrown in here. Maybe we can find more information too. Let's get moving. Yeah, sounds what? good. Wait! <sighs> Just roll over. What is this place? It looks just like the shopping district. Mm, if you say so. What's going on here? Some weird places have appeared here recently. Doesn't look exactly like it to me. Things are getting so tangled, I, I don't know what to do. Uh, by the way, why are you standing so far from us? You better not be planning to hightail it if something does come up. <laughs> of course not. I mean, um, I can't stand too close, you know, I get in your way. You yellow-bellied coward. <sighs> Man, they really went all out on this. But out of all the places in town, why'd they replicate this one? How should I know? This is reality for the one who's here. <sighs> As usual, nothing you say makes any sense. But if this is our shopping district, we're not far from Saki-senpai's... Alright, I guess we're gonna go on up. I knew it! 
This is the liquor store that Senpai's parents run. Hmm, that looks very ominous looking portal. Does this mean Senpai disappeared here? I can't tell if it's rust along the walls or if that's blood. What could have happened? Wait a second! They're here! What? Shadows! I had a feeling they were going to attack. Ah, oh, great. Huh? Looked almost psychotic doing that. Stay calm and listen. Some shadows have weaknesses. If you can pinpoint that weakness and take advantage of it, the battle will be a lot easier. I can tell this one has a weakness too. Try stuff out and see what works. Yeah, yeah. Same combat system as three, essentially. This one's tough. Hang in there. Tough nothing. Watch this. I'll keep track of what attacks have what effects on enemies. Very smooth. And now... The only difference is with this one, attacking an enemy that's down will not make them get back up. It makes them dizzy so they lose an extra turn to get back up. But you can't do a down stagger out like you did in 3. Congratulations, Sensei! That nets the first achievement for the game. Which is just by unlocking Izanagi, so. Story Whoa, related. What was that? Can't be missed. Did I hear you say persona? What was it? I mean, what did you do? You saw. Hey, you think I can do it too? No. Calm down, Yosuke. You're troubling Sensei. S sensei? Gosh almighty, you're amazing, Sensei. I am one impressed bear. I can't believe you were hiding such an amazing power. No wonder the shadows were scared of you. <gasps> Are you the one who's able to bring people into this world? I can, yeah. And that's what I thought. This is really something. Don't you think so, Yosuke? Dude, you call him Sensei and then don't show me any respect? Sorry. Well, your support wasn't bad, though. I gotta give you some credit for that. 
Huh? Really? <laughs> All right. You two keep it up, and I think we'll be fine from here on out. I mean, to be fair, though, your analysis leaves a lot to be desired. Now let's get back to the investigation. Right, right. Man, I wonder what could have happened to Senpai here. Oh, you said you saw her writhing in pain, so you tell me. Ugh, I wish Janess would go under. It's all because of that store. What the? Oh, I heard that Konishi-san's daughter is working there. Oh my, how could she with her family's business suffering like it is? I heard their sales have gone downhill because of Juness. Stop it. That poor father. To have his own daughter working for the enemy. What a troublesome child. Hey, hey, Ted. You said that this place is reality for those that are here, right? So, does that mean this was Senpai's reality when she wandered in here? Yeah, this is probably her reality in the real world too, bud. I only know about what's over here. Fine. Whatever's going on here, we'll find out ourselves. Again. It's a lot of kegs. Saki, how many times do I have to tell you? Is this Senpai's dad? You know what the neighbors say about you, right? Aren't you ashamed of yourself? You're the eldest daughter of a family who's owned this store for generations. Is it the money? Or did you meet some guy there? Just tell me why you have to work there of all places. I, I can't believe this. She seemed like she had fun at work. She never said anything like this to me. Why would she? You're telling me this was how Senpai really saw things? These photos. Hey, is this... It's the photo we took the other day with the other part-timers at Juness. Why is it cut up like this? I... never had the chance to say it. Is that Senpai's voice? I always wanted to tell Hana-chan. Huh? Me? I don't like the sound of that music. That he was a real pain in the ass. I was nice to him just because he was the store manager's son. That's all. But he takes it completely the wrong way and gets all enthusiastic. What a dip. The pain in the ass? Who cares about Juness anyway? Because of that store, our business is ruined. My parents hate me. The neighbors talk behind my back. I wish everything would just disappear. It's a lie. This can't be. Senpai's not like that. It's so sad. I feel so sorry for myself. Boo-hoo! Mm -hmm. Actually, I'm the one who thinks everything's a pain in the ass. <laughs> huh? Two Yosuke's? You never told me you had a twin brother. Who are you? I wouldn't think that. I don't know, man. He looks a lot like you. I think you might know. <laughs> yeah, right. How long are you going to keep deluding yourself? He looks really confident, too. Screw the shopping district and Juness, too. You're sick of everything, especially living out in the sticks. What are you saying? That's not true. I. 
You put on a good show of being carefree and happy-go-lucky because you're so terrified of being alone. The more, the merrier, right? You've got to be surrounded by people to block out the pain of isolation. And what's this about checking out this world for Saki-senpai's sake? Ha! I know the real reason you came snooping. Stop it! <laughs> Why so panicked? I thought I was just spouting bullshit. Or maybe I do know everything you're thinking. Oh, that must be so much fun to look in the mirror and confront that. Why's that? Because I am you. You just came because you thought it sounded like a good time. What else is there to do out in this shithole? The world inside the TV. Now that's exciting. You didn't have a single other reason for coming here, did you? It's not true. Stop. Stop it. You're just trying to act like a big shot. If all went well, hey, maybe you could even be a hero. And that senpai you were so sweet on, her death was the perfect excuse. Man, he is just tearing into you. That's not true! What are you? Who are you? <laughs> I already told you. I'm you. Your shadow. There's nothing I don't know about you. Screw that! I don't know you! You sure? You can't be me, you son of a bitch! Uh... <laughs> <laughs> That's right! Say it again! You're not me! You're nothing like me! <laughs> yeah, that's right. I am me now. I'm not you anymore, see? A shadow, the true self. I'll crush everything that bores me, starting with you. Out of the way. Wait, what? That's not fair. How long can you survive this? This one's much stronger than the last type. Be careful. Whenever you feel threatened, just defend yourself. Yeah, and now there's no more way you can actually defend. Yep. Yeah. You're getting knocked down, you no longer lose your turn. Let's guard. Not bad. Oh. Wrong button. Let's go ahead and make sure we, uh... Yeah. I'd like a defense increase, please. Ow. Stop it, dick. Yeah, you like that? How about another? In the ass. Oh, he didn't get dizzy. It's guarding its weak point. Yeah. Bonk. Huh, that's it. Boring. Out of the way. Oh no. Ow. Alright. Hey, back. Yeah, 
Why don't you get dizzy? I really don't want to use the medicine, but I don't think I'll live if I don't. That's not gonna work. Here comes an attack. Defend yourself. You're getting to be a real pain. All right, I'm gonna crush you with everything I got. And yeah, that put me down at about what 12 health now. So the next attack would likely kill me if I didn't block. Yeah, that would kill me for sure. It's going to attack! Defend yourself! Persona. Yeah, well. It's going to attack! Defend yourself! Not gonna hit me like that. Ow. I'm gonna use all I got. Bonk. That's not gonna work! You ready to give in? Here comes an attack! Defend yourself! Yikes! This is one tough enemy! He's not that strong. What a freaking pain in the ass! Get out of my way! Get out of my sight! Yeah. Not gonna stop me here. Get out of my face! I'm not too confident this will kill him. Defend yourself! <laughs> Better safe than sorry. Night, night. Congratulations, Sensei. Why does he have a zipper on his crotch? said he wasn't you, he flipped his shit and threw you across the room. And I beat his ass. You. You're not me. Can you not do that, please? That thing came from you, Yosuke. You have to admit it, or it'll go berserk again. Dude, I can't keep fighting it. Still you, dude. You can answer whatever you want, but... Myself. Damn it. it. Hurts to face yourself. I knew it wasn't lying. I was so ashamed that I didn't want to admit it. You're me. And I'm you. When you get down to it, all of this is me. Now this is much nicer music. Senpai's voice. I wonder if that was something Senpai had been keeping deep down inside. Very likely. <laughs> he was a real pain in the ass, huh? What a way to find out. Jeez, this is so embarrassing. I won't tell anybody, man. If you weren't here, I don't know what would have happened. Thanks. Hey, Teddy. Could Senpai have been attacked by her other self here? Like how it just happened to me? 
I think so. Yeah, it seems most plausible. The shadows here were originally born from humans. Sometimes the fog clears, then they all go berserk. And you saw what happens next. A strong-willed shadow draws others to it, and a big mass of shadows kills the host. So that's why people die when it gets foggy in our world. <sighs> now, if a shadow kills its origin point, is that considered suicide or is that a murder? And doesn't that cause the shadow to no longer exist? Yosuke's pretty worn out. This world isn't made for humans. It's not comfortable for you here. I don't hear any more voices. I think we're done with this place. Let's go back. That sounds good to me. Hey, Teddy. You said that this place is reality for people who enter, right? So that shopping district, and the weird room we saw before? Did they exist because the ones who died entered this world and it became their reality? I guess what I'm trying to ask is, did those places form because of the people who entered this world? I don't know. It's never happened before. But that's probably where they were when the shadows attacked them. Yeah. Yes, whatever the you want. The fog does lift here sometimes. The shadows get really violent then. Now where do you hide then? I always get so scared I have to hide when it happens. I sensed people here twice before, but both of them disappeared after the fog lifted. So let's get this straight. Senpai and that Yamano lady were thrown in here, and since they couldn't get out, they wandered around. After a while, that shadow thing came out of them. The fog cleared, it went berserk, and it ended up killing them. Does that sound right? So if I'd been here until the fog cleared, I would have been in much deeper trouble? Not to mention that this place seems to completely sap people of their energy. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. You were lucky. Sensei and me were here with you. Damn it. Senpai and that announcer, they were stuck here all alone. No one could save them. Yosuke. They disappeared when the fog lifted, but they were safe before that. No shadows attacked them. So if they got killed in this world, how did their bodies end up back in our world? They attacked us, though. Maybe they're keeping a close eye on us. They might see people who investigate this place as enemies. It'll be dangerous, but we might be able to fight them. We might save people. Are you saying if anyone else gets thrown in here, we can save them before they disappear? Like how you guys just saved me? Yeah, that seems to be the case. Anyways, we need to catch the one who's throwing people in here and make him stop. You can answer whatever there, by the way. Yeah. I'm finally starting to understand what's going on. Um, can I ask something too? If shadows are born from humans, what was Teddy born from? I couldn't tell you. You don't even know where you came from? How should we know? I know some things, mostly about this world, but... I don't know anything about myself. To be honest, I never thought about it until now. Are you serious? No wonder we couldn't get a straight answer out of you. Will you guys come back here? Mm, that's the plan. You'll keep your word? If nothing else, I'm good for my word. Well, you're the one who said you weren't letting us out unless we do. Oh, that's right. Okay, I'll let you out. But there's one thing. I'll be waiting for you guys here. You need to come in from the same place every time, so we can meet up. You could come in.
come in from somewhere else, but then you won't end up here. You might show up somewhere I couldn't get to you. Then you'd be doomed. I'll throw you over the that banister. Got it? Well, pretty much. All right, can you show us the way out? Roger that. One exit coming right up. How did you know you had that power? Cool. First, we need to make sure there aren't any employees milling around out there. Okay, go, go, go! <laughs> Squish! Mother? Uh, hey, stop squeezing, you little... Ugh! Sorry. Huh? Chie? Whoa, what's with that face? Ow! That, that was unnecessary. Oh, the nerve of you guys! Oh, you're such morons! We're sorry. I, I can't believe this! You guys suck! The rope got cut off! I had no idea what to do! You don't mean that. I... I think that might have kind of sort of been our fault. Yeah? Maybe we did go a little too far. Let's apologize to her tomorrow. We should probably take the glasses off now. I'm completely wiped out. I'm gonna go home, soak in the shower for a while and get some sleep. Good plan. I think I'm gonna sleep well tonight. <laughs> well, see you in the morning. I'll see you then, partner. Hmm? Oh, are you surprised to see me dressed this way? My parents sent me out on an errand. Um... Are you getting used to your new town and school? Yeah... I, I like it here. Really? But it must be difficult moving to a place you know nothing about. You can answer however you wanted there. I've never been out of Inaba, so I wouldn't know what it's like to transfer to a new school. Oh, are you getting along with Chie? I mean, I always leave early, so, um... <laughs> yeah. I'm glad to hear that. Chie's very supportive, you know? It's always her who gives me the little extra push I need. We had homeroom together last year, too, and I still remember how we cut class sometimes. You seem like you're too much of a goody-goody for that, but... Oh, I, I should get going. I need to make tomorrow's arrangements with our head chef. Our inn can't function without me right now. What happened to your parents? Um, I'll see you at school then. <laughs> Dad's late. Seems like he's always late. Our next story is an update in our ongoing report on the bizarre murders occurring in Inaba. At around 7 a.m., local high school student Saki Konishi was found dead in Inaba's residential area. Since the body was positioned similarly to the last victim, and since Miss Konishi was the one who discovered that body, police are proceeding under the assumption that this may be a serial murder case related to the death of Mayumi Yamano. The coroner's report has established Miss Konishi's time of death at around 1 a.m. last night. 
But does it say anything else? The body went unnoticed until this morning as a result of the heavy fog blanketing the area. Another incident. Dad won't be coming home tonight. You can answer whatever you want here, but uh, yeah, I love Nanako, so. I'll be okay. Can you help me do some stuff around the house? Yeah, certainly. Amagi Inn, located upstream of Samegawa River, is the town's oldest historical landmark. Vacationers are known to travel surprising distances in order to visit its open-air, radium-rich hot springs. After the incident with Miss Yamano, the manager has stepped aside, leaving her daughter Yukiko to fill her shoes. Wait, what? In other words, she's a manager who's still in high school. Now that has a nice ring to it. Let's see if we can interview her. Excuse me! You'd need to be hit. Hmm? Um, are you speaking to me? We've heard that you're the new manager. Is it true you're still in high school? Oh, well, I'm only filling in temporarily. Someday, though. That aside, wow, you're looking gorgeous in that kimono. You must have had a lot of male visitors. Uh, uh, uh. You, you need to be hit with a metal pipe now. Huh? No, um... This is boring. I want to hit that reporter. Oh, I need to do the dishes. I hate doing dishes. Okay. And now with that, we have a status screen and everything. We can see everybody's status instead of having to talk to everybody. Like before. But with that... I'm going to go ahead and call it here, because this episode's gone a lot longer than I actually intended it to. And I do have work tonight, so... I'll see you all tomorrow for the next one. So until then...